An important and complex component of a person's reproductive system is the menstrual cycle. Many people have a rough awareness of their monthly cycles, but understanding menstruation, ovulation, and fertility on a deeper level can help remove some of the mystery surrounding these events. The goal of this page is to give a thorough understanding of these essential components of the menstrual cycle, but it should not be used as a replacement for medical advice from a healthcare expert. Making the menstrual cycle visible. Most cycles fall within this range, with the average menstrual cycle lasting 23 to 35 days. Changes in the amount of time needed for the egg to develop an ovulation, or the follicular phase, can be blamed for cycle variations. The luteal phase, which follows ovulation and lasts between the egg's release and the beginning of the menstrual cycle, is a period of 12 to 16 days. When your period starts. The first day of your period, which typically lasts between 3 and 7 days, marks the start of the menstrual cycle. The hormones in your body cause the uterus to shed the lining built up during the previous menstrual cycle, resulting in menstrual cramps, which are frequently felt most powerfully at the beginning of the cycle. Getting ready for ovulation. The pituitary gland produces follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, during the first part of the menstrual cycle. The ovaries are stimulated by this hormone to produce mature eggs inside of cavities filled with fluid referred to as follicles. As these follicles grow, estrogen production increases. On the first day of the menstrual cycle, estrogen levels are at their lowest and progressively rise as the follicles develop. Even while several follicles initially form, usually only one becomes the dominant follicle. While the others recede, this dominant follicle harbors the maturing egg. Rising estrogen levels also cause the endometrium, the uterine lining, to thicken in anticipation of prospective fertilization. The sperm-friendly mucus that the cervix secretes promotes sperm motility and survival within the reproductive system. Interpreting ovulation. Luteinizing hormone, LH, increases quickly when estrogen levels rise further, which causes the dominant follicle to burst. Ovulation is the process by which the mature egg is released from the ovary and travels through the fallopian tube. It's crucial to understand that, contrary to popular belief, ovulation doesn't always happen on day 14. Ovulation day varies from menstrual cycle to menstrual cycle. While some people could feel mild twinges or pain, others might not experience any overtly ovulation-related symptoms. Phases of post-ovulation The released egg travels through the fallopian tube toward the uterus after ovulation. A viable egg can last for about 24 hours, whereas sperm can stay in the reproductive system for 3 to 5 days. As a result, the days immediately following ovulation are regarded as the most fertile time, offering the best chances for conception. The corpus luteum, which was the dominant follicle before ovulation, starts producing progesterone. In order to assist a prospective fertilized egg, this hormone thickens the uterine lining even more. Progesterone and estrogen are still being produced by the corpus luteum, which may be the source of premenstrual symptoms including mood swings and breast discomfort. Making plans for the next cycle. The levels of estrogen and progesterone fall in the absence of fertilization. Menstruation, the beginning of the subsequent menstrual cycle, results from the breakdown of the thicker uterine lining. If fertilization does occur, the fertilized egg inserts itself into the lining of the endometrium. This procedure starts the synthesis of the pregnancy hormone human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, which normally takes place about a week after conception. The synthesis of estrogen and progesterone to maintain the uterine lining and support the growing pregnancy until the placenta is completely developed to take over is ensured by HCG, which keeps the corpus luteum active. The menstrual cycle, ovulation, and the accompanying hormonal variations all provide important information about fertility and reproductive health. Although every person's experience is unique, having a basic grasp of these procedures enables people to make wise choices regarding their reproductive health. Consultation with a healthcare professional is still essential for individualized guidance and medical recommendations.